Hi, thank you, Hannah. It's a pleasure to be here virtually in Europe uh, or in EMEA as a whole. I'm actually from Europe originally, so it's nice with COVID. I haven't had a chance to uh, get back and I'm originally an Essex boy, but I hope uh, uh, those of you in the UK don't hold that against me too much. Um, and I know this has been an incredibly unprecedented time uh, with you know complete lockdowns, working from home, facing a lot of uh, challenges across the board. Um, but it's been really interesting for us to see how actually important the web was. It kind of gave us a bit of a kick on, uh, on just like, wow, th this ecosystem uh, is vital. Um, and so I just want to say thank you, um, because we really think it's, it's all of us together that are building this web. Um, and as Google, we want to do everything we can to be the best possible partner uh, to help you. And we actually think the web is really different. Um, we think that's a good thing. Uh, we don't think the web is just about kind of, you know, copying other uh, platforms. You know, I really think the web is free. It allows you to dream, build, monetize it in your particular way. And I think this is something that's really special about the web. We love with the user experience that the web is so fluid. Users are able to literally surf the web, get instant access with zero friction, it's trustworthy by default from the beginning of the web. If you know, we have to be safe on the end of this click, we're not downloading software and the like, so we have to build safety in and just make it this lovely experience as you kind of traverse the web. And of course, it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere. It means that when I share something to you, I know it's gonna work. I don't have to think about like, oh, I'm in Clubhouse. Does that person have the iOS app for it? I can just send it over and it just works. We think that's really, really important. Now, what are we doing to kind of take this, you know, high level thing that makes the web so uh, kind of special for us um, and improve it together? Uh, you're going to hear today, we're going to talk about a bunch of these themes. Uh, we think on the user experience side, it's super important for us to make the web as frictionless as possible. That then plays into that surfing the web. So we're going to talk a lot about core web vitals, page experience, identity, paints, all these pieces that enable a low friction web. Then trust is obviously really important and is very top of mind uh, these days. So we're going to talk through what are we doing and what's our point of view on making the web uh, private by default and secure. And then capabilities. It's not just about making things fast. It's making things really powerful everywhere. Uh, and so talking about what we're doing there, which, which is really exciting. So on the friction side, you know, we, we talk a lot about building this you know, instant web. And this is what we're really trying to drive to. When we talk about getting load times down, um, that's only part of it. We want to make this as instant as possible. Uh, we want to get rid of all jank in the UI. We want to have this like beautiful, smooth, seamless experience. And then we have transactions as a part of this. How do we just really make these seamless and trustworthy transactions so a user can come in and they can convert uh, as quickly as possible, which is good for them, uh, and also good for you on, uh, on the business side. Now, we're going to talk about Core Web Vitals and how we really want to give you all of the tools to measure what a high quality uh, experience is. And we've talked about this in the past and we're going to go deep into it uh, and excited to get your questions on that today. Um, you know, we're not quite at IO yet, but I thought maybe it's time for, for a new metric that I could just kind of uh, seed in there for you because we always want more metrics to, uh, to go after. Um, and so the new metric that I'm proud to announce today is time to tasty. Um, actually, I'm kidding. We're not given a new metric. Uh, hopefully you've got the memo that we really want to work closely on how we deliver these new metrics and make sure they're uh, very valid. You're a key part of the journey with metrics, uh, making sure that we validate the business impact. Um, but this is actually something that I, that I think about a lot of not getting just so obsessed just with each individual metric, but really thinking about uh, the overall experience. And then as we offer you a platform, we want to give you the ability to build something very tasty as quickly as possible. We don't want you to have to spend um, any more time than you need. So you can focus on the, the features that you want for your users. And I think this is kind of the balance that we're trying to work to at the moment is how do we deliver taste and nutrition at the same time? Right? The users don't come in and, uh, to a restaurant and ask for the nutrition labels. Uh, they're looking for really tasty food. So they're looking for these great experiences that you can deliver. Um, but it's on us collectively to like deliver that in a package that's going to be uh, as healthy as possible for them. 
So this is why I think it's so important for us to focus on uh, the user experience here. Now, trust, as I said, privacy is very important at the moment. It's another key part of quality. Um, and this gives us a chance to kind of rethink the platform and a chance to do better. You know, a lot of the trust work um, that, that started on the web started very low level, you know, with cookies and things like that, that were just very generic. Now we're able to build purpose built, right? So this is a way we think about evolving the platform is we have low level primitives, we see how you use them, and then hopefully we can uh, up level and give you uh, capabilities that are actually better fit for your actual needs, such as the conversion uh, measurement API. And again, it's really important uh, that we're not just trying to build a web that you know maybe loads fast, but is kind of boring, right? We we want a powerful web. We want you to deliver the best possible experience that get makes the best use of the devices that your users have, all of their capabilities. And we recognize that the web is a real spectrum. Um, and yeah, it's not just this kind of general platform where there's there's uh, you know just some documents on it. Um, there's a world of publishing which has unique needs. There's a world of commerce that has unique needs. There's productivity and apps. Uh, and we're really spending a lot of time thinking about like what are the capabilities that we need to deliver uh, for your particular vertical. And so that's a key thing that we want to learn from you. It's like what what are uh, the needs for your business? And we're bringing machine learning really to the web. And you're going to see this a lot more uh, uh, at I.O. and the like, too. And so we really want to understand your use cases here in particular. I've been working with the TensorFlow team on how to not just build, you know, kind of like the fun demos um, that you, you see a lot with, like, you know, capturing body positions and things like that, which uh, are really cool, um, but also tying into, again, your particular use cases. and when you're able to get all of the models, um, bring them down, use them directly in the browser, I think that's going to unlock uh, a lot of potential as well for you. Really excited about that. And then to finish up, we just really understand that we're in this together as an ecosystem. Um, and so there's, uh, it's not just about Google. Obviously, that's one of the things we love about the web. It's not our platform. It's our collective platform. And you represent a lot of the critical components. And there's a lot of partners that we work with that build infrastructure that's really important. And so it, it's it's very, very vital for us. This is why we work a lot with the CMSs, CDNs, and, and other folks that are in their commerce platforms. How do we work together to build the content for the end user? And we understand that you know, a platform is all about the, the value that extends to you uh, and, and to how you use it. And so this is why I'm so excited that we put this on to learn more from you. Obviously, we're going to be sharing a lot of information too, but I'm very keen to understand your needs so we can take that back to the team and evolve the platform together. Thank you so much.